we're out in the car now to install the jive and a couple of things I want to go over before you start any installation. It's raining outside, so if you hear that, that's what it is. The first thing is you want to be on flat level ground. It's critical that when we install this seat that we get the recline at the appropriate level for rear facing. Uh, we have different level lines that I'll show you. Flat ground in order to be able to read these correctly. You also want your vehicle seat back to be in its most upright position. You can't kick that vehicle seat back in any kind of recline unless your vehicle manual specifically allows it, as is your car seat manual. Just stick with most upright position and you'll be good to go. I also want you to kind of create some room for your body to move around. So clear the clutter, push that passenger seat forward, and then we're gonna get started first with the installation method with lower anchor connectors. There are two ways you can install a car seat. One is lower anchor connectors. They look like this. The other is the vehicle seatbelt. I'm gonna show you both in rear facing and forward facing mode. You can only use one method at a time, never both. Route the lower anchor connector strap through the rear facing belt path. And when you place the car seat on the vehicle seat, do an initial check for recline. The Jive has two different recline level lines based on your child's weight. Get an initial adjustment set before you start to connect and tighten the lower anchor strap. When you do so, make sure that it's stapler side up, fat side up to connect it to the lower anchor connector point in your car. Do that on both sides and now the car seat is installed, but it certainly isn't tight. Instead of pulling that strap outside of the car seat, bring the tail inside the car seat towards your body. Depress down on the seat side to side. Where you push could change the recline angle of the seat. So you're going to likely have to do a couple of adjustments and shifts to get that recline line back in the required spot. Do it again, push down, pull towards you, that lower anchor strap will get nice and tight. Honestly, the hardest part of this whole installation is just getting that cover back on. The cover off helps you to really see what you're doing and pull that lower anchor connector strap tail towards you. So I definitely recommend it. Get that cover back on. Again, you may have to shimmy the seat a little bit to get the recline correct, and then do your final test for tightness. Let's install the seat using the vehicle seatbelt installation method. For this installation, I've set the recline for a child under 22 pounds. Route the vehicle seatbelt through the rear facing belt path and buckle it in. Make sure the straps are laying flat and there's no twists or turns. The seat is now connected, but it's certainly not locked in place. Most vehicles have a way to lock the vehicle seatbelt, pull it out until you hear a ratcheting sound, it will lock the retractor. Now it's time to make things nice and tight. Here I am doing another check of the recline to get it set, though it may shift a bit when I start to tighten things up. Separate the shoulder belt from the lap belt, and you can see that the slack is already being pulled up into my hand. That lap belt portion is tightening around the car seat. Hold that slack nice and tight, feed it up into the locked retractor so you don't lose all of your hard work. Do another look at the recline shimmy the seat as you need to to make sure that that line is level and do your final test for tightness right there at the belt path where the shoulder belt routes put your cover back on and then you're ready to go when it's time to switch your car seat from rear to forward facing pull the recline stand out from under the car seat and push up to lock it in place and route the top tether anchor strap as per your vehicle manual instructions. Make sure you're placing your car seat on a vehicle seat with a designated top tether anchor position. Once you get the seat in there, ensure that your lower anchor connector strap is routed through the forward facing belt path. Lengthen it as you need to and attach the hooks hook side up. It should almost look like a stapler to each of the lower anchor connector positions in your vehicle seat. Pull the seat cover back so you can expose the strap. It'll make it much easier to tighten the seat this way. Grab the tail of the lower anchor connector strap, pull it inside the shell of the car seat and towards your body. Take your other hand and press the seat down. 
shifting from side to side, getting all of that slack out of the lower anchor connector strap. Once you've done that a couple of times, do a test for tightness. Give it a little handshake right at the belt path where that lower anchor strap is routed. You may need to do this a couple of times to get it at the right level of tightness. It cannot move more than one inch in any direction. Once it's tight, as you can see here, it's not moving more than an inch. Ensure that you now attach that top tether anchor strap. Pull it until all of the slack is out. When forward facing the safety first jive, make sure you pull the recline stand out from under the car seat and you use the top tether anchor strap. Your vehicle manual will state where your top tether anchor positions are and how to route that strap in relation to the vehicle headrest. Pull the cover of the car seat down if you'd like to be able to see what you're doing more easily. Once you get really good at this, you won't have to do that. Route the vehicle seat belt through the forward facing belt path. Be super careful as to where it routes in relation to those harness straps. Buckle it in. Now you need to lock the vehicle seat belt. Pull the shoulder belt all the way out until you hear that ratcheting noise. The seat belt is now locked, but it's not tight. To do so, separate the shoulder belt from the lap belt. You can see here that the lap belt is getting tighter around the shell of the car seat as I'm pulling the shoulder belt nice and tight. Hold that taut and pull it up and into the locked retractor. Do a test for tightness at the belt path, and if it's not moving more than an inch, it is tightly installed. Your final step will be to attach that top tether anchor and pull any slack out of the strap. I hope you found this video helpful and you now feel totally confident in how to use and install the Safety First Jive. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and drop any comments below, questions about this seat, we will be happy to answer them. See you in the next one.